Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Body out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, live. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission this time. Ah, uh, it's crazy. And they separate. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he 
caught the kick. That's a big strike right there. Slips to avoid the right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful combination. Punches and bunches. Superman punch now. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over three minutes to go. Big kick lands. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Hook shot lands. And a knee. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching will disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Work here, staying busy. Good solid strike on the ground. Posturing up now. Now the damage is about to start. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at the whip action that comes from the pull that kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Real quick leg kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just missed with the left there. Great punch. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Oh, man, that could have been a good flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. Gets the elbow up into the target. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Good punch, Lance. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. Round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice head kick. All right, he'll engage.
Cage in a single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! It's over! Unbelievable! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Marsh, oh. there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.